We started uh, Let's Go Boys and Girls for two primary reasons. First, our country is facing a shortage of scientists, engineers, and, and mathematicians in the professional fields. And of course, our country is driven by technology, and if we have an insufficient number of professional technologists, we're not going to be competitive in the world. The second reason, and this is particularly important for the underserved population, is that technology represents a significant upward mobility opportunity. There are more jobs available in the technical area than any other area, and the growth rate is the most significant. And of course, the compensation levels are commensurate with the, the need. So those are the two primary reasons why we started the Let's Go program. The, uh, we've had a number of successes, um, and um, it's hard to measure success because you never know what's going to be a tipping point in the lives of an underserved student. But we took five rookie first Lego League teams to the regional championships or the regional qualifiers, and we overheard one child, I think he was a sixth grader um, from the inner city, said, this is the best Saturday in my entire life. And that was very spontaneous and very heartfelt. And he just felt very worthy and very fulfilled uh, having competed with his uh, teammates in a very exciting uh, Lego robotics competition. So I thought that was really super. Well, it, it took me about uh, a month and a half to uh, figure out that improving my golf handicap was not going to be fulfilling for the rest of my life. And I decided that I was absolutely at the peak of my capability in strategic thinking and planning and organizational skills. So why waste it? So I walked into the Boys and Girls Clubs in Annapolis and talked to their chief executive officer, Reggie Brody, and asked him a couple of questions. What do you do in this club for uh, education, particularly to close the education, educational gap between uh, underserved students and middle class uh, students from suburbia, and particularly what are you doing in the area of technology? And the answer was, we're not doing enough. So I said, Reggie, I'll go ahead and figure out how to uh, start up a STEM education program. We'll go ahead and raise the money, and we'll, get, and we'll learn together how to deliver fun, hands-on STEM education activity to the underserved boys and girls of Annapolis. And uh, that was the start of our quest. And now we're 20 months into the program, and we have definitely noted some significant interest uh, in, these, uh, in these kids in this field. Well, we have um, gained some significant um, results. We, we've realized some significant results here in Annapolis. We've proved that the operational model works, that if you um, deliver very engaging, fun, hands-on activities in an out-of-school environment to inner-city kids, that they will gravitate to that, to this uh, opportunity, and take it seriously. So since we have an operating model that's producing results in inner city of Annapolis, why not replicate it and expand to Baltimore and Washington, D.C. and the surrounding counties? 